Hey y'all, my name is India Bryan here from Indie Beauty. Welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to be talking about the perfumes that I believe fit the clean girl aesthetic. So if you have been anywhere on TikTok, Instagram, social media, you have seen this clean girl trend that has been everywhere. And I actually am here for it because uh, I believe that the 90s, early 2000s uh, fashion, makeup, style, just the overall aesthetic and vibe was very minimalist. Like women did not have to do a lot to look beautiful. They did not have to wear too much to look beautiful. It was all about minimal makeup. And, you know, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. So today we're going to be talking about the clean girl aesthetic um, perfumes. Sorry if you guys hear my baby in the background. Um, my husband's in there with my kids. Um, so yes, we're just gonna jump right into this video. The first perfume that I believe fits the clean girl aesthetic is YSL Libre. I absolutely love this. And you know what? I've been on a roller coaster ride with this perfume because I originally bought last year for Christmas the YSL Libre Intense, the big bottle, because I smelled it in a store. I'm like, yes, I need the big bottle. I'm going to be wearing the big bottle all the time. And I used about this much of it up, and then I got sick of it. And so um, I'll say around New Year's, I actually was able to exchange it at Sephora for a bigger size of this. And I was like, yes, I'm here for it. This is my vibe going into New Year's because I live in Mississippi. It's more of a warmer climate. It's not that cold. And so I didn't want something so smoldering like the Intense, which is beautiful if you love vanilla scents, but it's a little bit smoldering for me. Just because uh, Mississippi in the winter time it sort of stays between like 60, 70 degrees. So I loved it. And then in the summertime, for some reason, I was craving deep, heavy vanillas. And then I went back to the Intense. Now I'm back to this one. And I think this one here to stay because I'm just loving fresh and light floral, white floral type of scents. And this one is so beautiful. It starts off very fresh, like clean laundry. When you spray it, I'm actually wearing this today, so I'm gonna spray a little bit more. It starts off like a fresh laundry smell. And then in the dry down, it's the most beautiful, fresh vanilla. The dry down sort of remind me of the nest of Madagascar vanilla body oil, fragrance oil. It's just so beautiful. It's perfect all year round, but I definitely think this fits the clean girl aesthetic because it's very minimal. It's beautiful without trying too hard. It's very classy, very elegant. You can wear this to work. You can wear this on a night out. You can wear this to brunch. You can wear this to church. It's so non-offensive, but people will stop you and ask you what you're wearing because it's that beautiful. It's one of my husband's favorites on me. It's one of my favorites on myself. So I told myself if I go through this small one ounce bottle, then I'm going to buy the three ounce bottle because I love it. The next fragrance that I believe fits the clean girl aesthetic is so beautiful. It was actually a shocker for me because I walked past this several times in Sephora throughout the years and I never tried it, never tried any of the hair products. But for some reason, like I said, I've been on a freshy type of uh, fragrance kick. So this one really surprised me, but I love it. This is the Way uh, Melrose Place perfume. And I also have um, the way north bondi perfume so i smelled the north bondi in store but it was a little lemon heavy and i'm not that much of a lemon fan but in the dry down it was beautiful so i cannot leave the store without a smaller bottle and if i do like this i'm going to get the bigger bottle but melrose place just sold me this is so beautiful now this has a million notes in it i'm going to have to put it up on the screen um it's just so fresh and I it kind of reminds me when I was in my teen years in my early college years I used to wear Marc Jacobs Daisy oh so fresh and this sort of puts me in the mindset of that but this one is much more beautiful for me much more fresh um they said that this perfume smells a lot like the way hair products so this is very pretty for every day. I think this would be a nice gym fragrance, a nice going to class fragrance, a nice mom who has to drop her kids off to school and walk around Target fragrance. That's me. That's I'm that mom. So yes, very pretty everyday clean girl aesthetic fragrance. Um, the next one that I have been loving is by Dead Cool. And I actually have two fragrances by Dead Cool. You guys heard me talk about this one in my last video, which I'm going to talk about this one next. But this one here is fragrance number one by Dead Cool, and this one is in Taunt. This is a beautiful salty vanilla fragrance. It smells so amazing. So it does have citrus as a top notes, which to me gives it a salt kind of aquatic note. Um... It's just so good. It's the perfect vanilla for layering. I think these two would be, oops, 
Jesus, I almost broke my bottle, y'all. I think these two would be beautiful for layering. And then for fall, this is just perfect on its own. Like you can wear this. I also mix this with milk a lot and the projection is just amazing. It is chef's kiss. This is perfect clean girl fragrance if you like vanilla, but you don't like sickly sweet vanillas. You want something that's just perfect for every day in the fall um, without trying too hard, but you wanna make a statement, you wanna be remembered, try Taunt by Dead Cool. And not a lot of people know about Dead Cool yet. Um, it's really hard to find, even though they're now in Sephora. My Sephora's always sold out of them. They only have the travel sizes, so want to smell unique but have that clean girl aesthetic try dead cool by taunt i mean <laughs> taunt by dead cool the next one is dead cool's milk and you guys can see i love this one so much i've already used so much of it i use up a travel size and then i have another travel size that i've used up so much of this is a it's supposed to be a layering fragrance but it definitely can hold its own weight it is so beautiful I've never smelled anything like this. Honestly, this is what I want to smell like every day, all day. I want my bed sheets to smell like this. They have detergent, so I've been using it on my clothes. They have body wash, um, lotion, candles. I just want it all because milk is just beautiful. And don't get this confused with the milk by, um, what's the brand name? Milk by Commodity because that one is much more marshmallow heavy, much more sickly sweet. This one is a amber musk and... Um, amber musk and bergamot fragrance so it's just so beautiful y'all you can layer this with almost anything or wear it on its own i've gotten so many compliments on this i've gotten stopped everywhere if you want to know more about this watch my last video i also have a backup bottle already that's how much i love this um the next fragrance that i believe fits the clean girl aesthetic is by toka and this is julietta this one is another kind of like laundry s smell but this one smells more shampoo-y. So this just smells like a really good shampoo. Like a soapy. It smells like a bar of soap. Like a, a shampoo bar. That's what this smells like. A shampoo bar. But it's just so clean. Like I, it, these clean fragrances, this clean girl aesthetic fits my lifestyle because I'm not always reaching for my heavier fragrances on a daily basis, especially because I live in Mississippi and most days it is like around 70, 80 degrees, even in the fall. And so I want something that is beautiful, pretty, non-offensive for every day because I'm almost always with my kids, but still, you know, make me feel like a vibe. This is it. If you want to smell like a sexy shampoo bar, <laughs> this is what it smells like. This is one of my husband's favorites. This and the way he loves, and he loves the milk. He loves all of these, but you know, I'd be paying attention which one he says he likes just a little bit more. So this one is beautiful. Definitely fits the clean girl aesthetic. Um, the next one that I believe fits the clean girl aesthetic is toka again this is florence this one is a white floral classic white floral fragrance with bergamot i will link the notes up here um it is like a musky clean white floral now this one smells like laundry in the best way like in the most bougie way in a white floral way so this is super pretty I think this is more fitting for like if you have somewhere more important to go during the day uh like maybe work maybe if you have a meeting or whatever this is just super pretty um effortless i also have this in the hair fragrance which this one took out the tuberose so i forgot to tell you this has tuberose gardenia bergamot uh, amber in the dry down this the hair fragrance is oil based so it won't dry out your hair like most fragrances because they have alcohol in them this one dropped the tuberose note and just has gardenia but it's sm it's still so beautiful so yeah i've just been loving the white florals the clean bergamot um the musk for the freshness all of those type of fragrances so these are my recommendations i do have a honorable mention which is baccarat rouge 540 i think that is one of the ultimate clean girl fragrances i don't have it because i did get rid of it because i'm trying to be more clean and vegan with the fragrances that i wear obviously ysl and way are not clean i'm not 100 percent all over my uh fragrances that are not 100 percent clean but i'm trying to make a better change but it's still one of the fragrances that i love it's not to say i'll never buy it again and just spray it on my clothes but you guys know how baccarat rouge smells is so beautiful the ultimate clean girl fragrance so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I thought it was fun. I've seen the little trend trending of people doing the clean girl aesthetic perfume. So I had to give my two cents. Um, if I had to pick one for the ultimate clean girl fragrance, 
out of all of these. I can't pick one, so I will pick two. Milk by Dead Cool and YSL Libre. You can lay layer these two together or wear them on their own. They're so perfect. These are two are my favorites probably out of all of these. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. So yeah, bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.